In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of how we can use special string characters in C Sharp. We have a simple program here. And what if I wanted to print some, uh, what if I wanted to print a string, for example, that said, uh, my name is, and then I put the, the value Anna or the name value inside its own pair of double quotes. I want to print some double quotes inside my string. Well, we have a problem in the C-sharp syntax because a pair of double quotes defines the boundaries of a string. And if I try to put double quotes inside the string, I end up getting two strings. I have this string on the left, and then I have some identifier that's outside the string on the right, and then I have a new little teeny empty string on the, on the right side. So we need a, a way to embed certain characters into our strings. And we can do that using an escape character. So let me just talk about this for a second. So the C sharp string escape character. And the escape character in C sharp is a backslash. And the way the, the escape character works is whenever you put a backslash inside a string, the compiler is going to look for the, the, the following character and depending on that following character, decide what to print. Let me show you some examples here. So these are special string characters. The first one I'm going to talk about is the backslash n. The backslash n character prints a new line to the console. So, for example, if I were to uh, to do the um, uh, print the string console.writeline hello backslash n world, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the characters H E L L O, then I am going to print a new line. Once we get to this backslash, the compiler is going to look at the next character, which is an N, and that N stands for print a new line. So this backslash n prints a single new line character. World should then be printed on its own line. Let's test it. And we see here that we indeed, we printed the word hello, then we printed a new line, and then we printed the word world. Okay. The next special character that we commonly use is a backslash t. This prints a tab character. So if I were to say console.writeline um, 1 backslash t, 2 backslash t, 3, what we will print is the string of text one. Then I will print a tab character. A tab is a set of spaces that kind of stops at a, a certain distance from the margin. And tabs allow us to print data in columns that where the columns line up. So instead of, I'm not printing the character T, I'm going to print a tab character here. Let's see what it looks like. So here I've printed the, line, the text one, then a tab character, two, a tab character, then three. Now what happens if I want to embed a pair of quotes into a string? Well, I can escape the double quote character. This prints a single double quote character inside my string. Let's check this out. Console.writeline, I will say I am the best, and I'm going to put best in a pair of double quotes. So the, there are four double quotes in this string. I have a pair of double quotes here and here that define the boundaries of my string value. And then I have these two escaped string characters that will actually print as a pair of double quotes. So let's see what this looks like. So it says, I am the qu double quote best. So we're not printing the escape characters again. The escape character is telling us what, the follow what to print based on the following character. And then finally, what happens if I wanted to actually print an escape character? Because we do not print the escape character by itself, um, we have to, if we want to print a backslash, I need to escape the backslash. 
So two backslashes will print a single backslash character. So for example, console.writeline, uh, one divided by two, I know the divided by is actually a forward slash, but for this example, we will show this is 0 0.5. Now I have two um, backslashes here, but when I print it, notice I'm only printing a single backslash character. Now there are other um, escape characters out there. Some other ones are, you know, you can d escape a single quote, you can, a backslash A will, will actually print an alarm noise, print a beep, and there are others out there. But these four are, are kind of the most commonly used, in my opinion, uh, escape characters. So use these escape characters when you want to create, you know, a specific formatted output. Um, let me show you the, the console.write write method as well. So I'm going to use, in all of our examples so far, I've been using the write line method. Well, let me show you the console.write method. Console.write1, console.write2, console.write3. The console.write method works exactly like the console.write line method, meaning I can create uh, output that has placeholder syntax in there and insert values, etc. So the formatting works exactly like the write line method, but let's run this and then look at the output. So here I've printed one, two, three, but all of them are printing on the same line and the little blinking cursor does not occur on the on the new line anymore. It occurs right after I printed three. So the difference between the right line and the right method is that the right line method will print a new line character after your string. It's giving you a new line character by itself. Whereas the right method only prints your characters and then the, then the next print will occur directly after the, the last thing you printed. Okay, so really the right line method is, ex is printing your data and then inserting a backslash n character. So for example, if I put a, my own backslash character at the end of this last write statement, this is the same as console.writeline3. So write where I, where I insert the new line or write line where I let the write line method insert it for me, these are equivalent. 